Jonathan Case, the Cabinet Secretary, has been very present in the COVID inquiry so far. He's been saying things like Johnson cannot lead uh, and uh, effectively providing, providing a background to the idea that there was chaos within the leadership of the Conservative Party during the COVID crisis. And now we hear that, uh, well, he's sort of wriggling away from giving testimony himself, from appearing in person in the COVID crisis, in the COVID inquiry. And uh, there's apparently a, a briefing that has gone on about his health, and he's taking some time off, and we don't quite know how long that is. It's all very vague, and it's all very sort of official, and it, uh, it, it allows for... Well, a lot of wriggle room. And you start to wonder, how is it somebody who is so influential cannot be held to account? And he's not the only person who seems to have found an opportunity to wriggle away from giving testimony, to wriggle away from being held responsible. And this is why it's so important that the people who have made major decisions in our country should be available and should be held responsible and held accountable. And there is a method for that. And oddly, in Britain, it's mixed up with the impression of a, an award, uh, but it's putting people in the House of Lords. Putting people in the House of Lords effectively silences them if they're politicians. They're no longer in the House of Commons. They're no longer at the cutting edge of politics, but they are present to be held to account. And I think senior civil servants, senior politicians, particularly ex-prime ministers, should by duty be put in the House of Lords. It used to be a routine and pretty well an accepted fact that senior politicians went into the upper chamber. And uh, they might vegetate there, they might, they might really do whatever they whatever they want to, but they are there to be held to account. And effectively, we know where to find them. And that is one function of the House of Lords, which is very valuable. I think people don't fully understand, and people get Im immensely confused by the idea that the House of Lords is a reward. So Cameron, Cameron in the House of Lords is in the right place. He's in the place he should have been in six years ago. So the idea which is going around social media that Cameron engineered his job as Foreign Secretary in order to get put into the House of Lords is simply absurd. The House of Lords was his for the taking at any time after he left office, as it is for Theresa May and Liz Truss and Boris Johnson. The problem is they don't want to take it because it traps them into a post-political career which is ex uh, saving a miracle of resuscitation which Cameron has experienced is over and it also traps them into a position where they are available and it's that latter position which I think makes it difficult. They are in this sort of twilight of their career rather than, as Liz Truss and Theresa May would like to hope, still in the middle of their career. They're not. Their career is over. And they just need to face up to that fact and get into the House of Lords where they can be held accountable. And Simon Case, as such a senior civil servant, I think needs to be in the same place. This idea about being ill or whatever, it's absurd. You work around you work around this, and the this this sort of nonsense. This is nonsense, and we need a proper account of what happened, and we needed it earlier, frankly.